I don't think anybody can open the newspaper today and not have a story that deals directly or indirectly with something that's happening in, in the Middle East. What happened in the case of Iran, where the country moved to formally nationalize, so you actually had a major clash, a major confrontation. You are referring to that lady, Unkhano, okay? So the Middle East Studies program at USC really want to try and offer a diverse set of offerings that cover a diverse set of, of countries and societies and, and issue areas in the region. I think it's just so important to be acquainted with what the region is, what the culture is, what the people are, what the food is. Knowing about all of that is part of being part of the solution. Most people when they hear Middle East Studies major they think it's just culture. There's a very practical side to it and I've always been very interested in understanding why people think the way they do. It can allow students the opportunity to dig a little deeper and see how politics and culture and religion and society operate. Iran cells, hating Iran cells, bombing Iran cells, and so people who actually have no political interest necessarily engage in hating Iran. So if you are interested in like modern day politics and all the current stuff, you can certainly do that. Or if you're interested in archaeology or history, you can take that as well. It's really an interdisciplinary program. So for me, I pick the language track. Language provides an unparalleled access to the region. We offer two languages. We offer Persian and we offer Arabic. USC has a special relationship with uh, Hebrew Union College and its Laukheim School, and they offer Hebrew courses, also which can count for the Middle East major. Habin kitab kitab ulum siyasi. Chera siyasat va hukumat dar etehadiye Europa. Which how could you ever be a so-called expert in something if you can't interact with the people directly? In LA, you have really a vast amount of Middle Eastern populations. It's one thing that you learn language in class, but it's another thing that you get to practice outside of class with native speakers. It enables us to read literature, documents, newspapers, to engage with people from the region in their own idiom. Now I can tell that this is a passage from the Quran, and the only way I know how to read it because I can pick maybe one or two words and you know, draw the rest from memory. Two weeks ago we brought in the professor who's an expert on Arabic calligraphy. We have a very, um, I think, diverse and I think a, a pretty significant set of, of offerings outside of the classroom. It meant that the God created the world in seven days, so that's why the half is coming. And the scene, probably because uh, those things like garlic was very important thing uh, in, in the old time as a symbol of uh, healthiness. We strongly encourage our students to study abroad. My junior year, I decided to apply to the Turkey program in Istanbul, and I was really excited that it was a Turkish university and I'd be enrolled alongside Turkish students and just get a whole different perspective on what university life in a whole different country is like. I definitely wanted to feel a little bit uncomfortable because I think that that's really one of the ways you challenge yourself and get to know yourself as well as getting to know a whole new different place. So students that major in, in Middle East uh, have a, a, a tremendous number of opportunities. I mean, some of our students decide they want to continue in the academy, so they're going to go on and they're going to become academics. Many of them, though, are really interested in going on to some kind of a master's program which will prepare them for a professional degree of some sort. So even if they don't end up specializing in the Middle East, the expertise, the, 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 the background that they're going to get in, in learning about a very complex region is going to translate into their being better students of other complex regions as well. I would like to work somewhere where I could research and produce work but actually let it change something. 